And we're joined once again by Mark Miller, an aviation journalist who spent several years working and flying with the Snowbirds and, and has made documentaries about the team. And, and Mark, let's start with what we can see in the video when the jet steeply climbs. You touched on this with Anita, but what's likely going on at that moment? Yeah, th th that's called a zoom. Uh, basically in takeoff, you're at kind of a low energy state. And if you do have a problem, uh, we say in aviation that uh, Airspeed is life and altitude is life insurance. And so basically he was trying to convert his airspeed into some extra insurance to try to figure out what was going wrong. And normally at the top of that zoom, if you can't get the problem sorted out, you should punch out, eject basically. So that zoom does tell us likely that there was a problem that the pilot identified that he's trying to get that altitude. Now let's talk about ejecting that. that that's a split second decision. Absolutely, and I've been through the training for that, and I've flown in F-18s, I've flown with the Snowbirds uh, countless times, I've flown the jet myself. You do go through the training, um, you do think about it, and uh, fortunately I've never had to do it. I know many, many people who have had to punch out, and it's, um, it's, it's something that you cannot hesitate to do. You must do it as quickly as possible, uh, or uh, the results can be catastrophic, honestly. And as far as we know, this was not in the midst of an aerobatic procedure. This was two jets simply taking off from Kamloops on their way to Comox on Vancouver Island. So it should have been just a routine takeoff, and all of a sudden you're making these split-second life and death decisions. Yeah, it was just a transit flight. They were just moving from Kamloops off to Comox, where many of us were hoping to meet up with them and, and celebrate this amazing trip they've made across Canada. And it's helped raise our spirits. And, of course, now we're... Uh, you know, we're doing something different tonight. You know the Snowbird community so well. What is the impact on that group of a fatal crash? There are about 80 people on the Snowbird team right now. Uh, that includes technicians and, and, uh, and pilots. And uh, everybody's hurting tonight. And, um, you know, that's 80 people on the team right now, plus the hundreds and hundreds of people who've been involved with the team since it started 50 years ago. Um, everybody's hurting tonight. Everybody's thinking about the families involved and thinking about supporting everybody else. Um, but, you know, in aviation, we all know the risks. We all understand it. And, you know, many people are asking, oh, is this, you know, is this the, you know, worth it for the snowbirds to continue to do this? And I believe it really is. It inspires people. It inspired me as a young boy when I was nine, the first time I saw the snowbirds to get into aviation and, and to pursue it. And, uh, it's an amazing, it's an amazing thing what, what the team accomplishes every year. Mark Miller, we really appreciate your insights tonight. Thank you.